Hi and welcome to our website here. Uh, my name's Andy. I've been hairdressing 30 years and I'm a senior designer at Nicholas Anthony. Just wanted to start by saying, you know, most of us have a firm idea of what makes a good hairdresser. Skill, experience, a pleasing personality, enthusiasm, the ability to listen, knowledge of the latest trends and uh, a way with our own particular hair type. Yes, such stylists exist probably in your own town. You know, you've simply got to know how to find and communicate with them. A good hairstylist is not impossible to find. You may have to search a bit, but locating a hair professional you trust and admire is very possible if you follow these suggestions that I'm going to talk about now. So first off, ask friends what salons they go to and if there are any stylists there who they think you would like. The salon your friend goes to may have the perfect hairdresser for you. A person I feel comfortable with may scare the pants off my mother. <laughs> if you see a woman who hair you like, ask who her stylist is. If you hear good things about a stylist, book a special occasion do, like a, a blow dry or something like that. This provides a, a chance to try the hairdresser without pressure to get your hair cut. Pick a salon with a good reputation. Usually a salon gets a good reputation for a reason. Professional, talented, you know, caring stylists. Negative reports like, you know, indifferent stylists or gossipy assistants can mean a negative salon experience. And schedule a consultation. And when you call, remember to tell the receptionist about your hair type and what kind of looks you like. Most salons don't charge for a consultation. And it's a great way to get to know a stylist before committing to an appointment. The most important element in the relationship with your hairdresser is communication. True. Most of us struggle to communicate with our own loved ones, or co-workers, or even ourselves. How can we express ourselves to someone we see just every couple of months? You know, when it comes down to it, you don't have to do anything. Keep in mind, however, that unlike those other people in your life, your hairdresser stands over your head holding a pair of scissors. <laughs> that alone is enough to get me talking. <laughs> Make life easy on yourself. Ask your stylist to show you exactly how to style your hair, what products are best to use, how to hold a blow dryer and so on. Stylists are professionals, don't be afraid to learn from them. Start each visit by telling the stylist how the cut worked for you, how your hair is behaving, what what's driving you crazy about your hair, you know, like what you might want to keep the same and what you might want to change. And if you've read anything about a new hair service or hairstyle, ask about it. And if you've been seeing your hairdresser for a while, he or she probably knows what you mean by take just a little off or if your relationship is a young one, however, you may need to physically show him or her how much you want off. And if you think your stylist is taking off too much or cutting an angle too steeply, speak up immediately. Don't remain quiet and then complain when the cut is over and the hair is unfixable. You know, you may reach a point where the relationship with your hairstylist isn't working. Maybe your hairdresser is burnt out and shows it shows in kind of wandering attention. More commonly, however, it's you who have changed. You want to grow your hair long, or but your stylist, you know, works best with short hair. Or you have decided to go back to school and can't afford your stylist's recent sort of raised braids. Or you're kind of just simply curious and wonder what a fresh eye would envisage on you. If you find someone new to visit, are you under any obligation to call your previous stylist to say you won't be coming back? <laughs> you know, I asked a few hairdressers those, those thoughts, and uh, the surprising answer is... Well, no. <laughs> Just quietly move on. To do any more can create awkwardness. If you run into your former stylist, be pleasant. But don't dwell on why you stopped seeing her or him. You know, there's no need. You know, in our salon, um, you know, we have a philosophy where we actually encourage people to try other stylists in the salon. They might like they might like the look of the way someone else is working. You know what? That's absolutely fine. And this is the way the kind of salon ecosystem works. You know, there's always an opportunity for us to meet new clients, and and that's all good. So I've hoped I I hope I've kind of helped you with choosing a new salon. And if you like the sound of our philosophy here, by all means, you know, just pick up the phone and come and have a chat with us, and have a consultation with one of us, um, and you'll get a feel of how we work and you never know it could be the start of something good so yeah that's it that's enough for me and thanks for listening look forward to seeing you bye for now